Alright, so in this video we're going to set up the greatest integer function and to do that we click on our y equals button over here that's where we input our functions and to enter in the greatest integer function we need to go to our catalog and grab that function and it's the quickest way to do it so you click second and the catalog button here is right above the zero you can see it, the word catalog in blue so you press second zero here is a catalog of functions and commands in the calculator. I don't want to scroll down because greatest integer function is the INT function. I don't want to scroll all the way down there. I think it would take too long. Um, you'll notice on graphing calculators there are letters. And here you can see them if you scroll in. We have letters in like a light flush green, X and Y, Z, and so forth. Uh, we can quickly scroll through this list. Um, by clicking alpha and then selecting the letter that corresponds to, to the command that we want in this case I and for me the I letter is right above X squared so I click that and it scrolls down but it didn't do that so I'll do it again alpha and this okay now I'm in the section of commands that starts with the letter I I scroll down a little bit and we'll see the greatest integer function int there it is once you reach it, click enter, and we want to have uh, the greatest in integer function um, of x. So I click x, and then I click enter. You don't need to, but um, if I click graph, you can see it'll graph the greatest integer function, right? With the value of um, the gr the greatest integer that's less than or equal to x, what you're ever given, or whatever x value you're given. One drawback is that you can't tell where the open and close circles are on this graph. Let me zoom in and show you. If I click zoom and I click on 2 to zoom in at the origin, press enter, you just see a bunch of lines. You don't see where is the value on the line included and not. Remember, a closed circle means include the value. An open circle means do not include the value. But remember that the greatest integer function means, okay, if you're looking at the uh, greatest integer a function on on x when x is 1 what you're doing is saying what's the greatest integer that's less than or equal to 1 so here if x is 1 right here at this point the greatest integer that is less than or equal to 1 is 1 and you can see it here on the graph so you put a closed circle there because you're including the value 1 and then if x is let's say 1.5 What's the greatest integer that's less than or equal to 1.5? Well, it's still 1, right? That's why this line's horizontal. All of these values for x, all the way up until 2, the greatest integer that's less than or equal to that value is still 1. So there's an open circle here at the end of the line, right? You can picture that because when x is 2, 1 is no longer the greatest integer that's less than or equal to 2. Because once you reach 2, 2 becomes the greatest integer that's less than or equal to that value and so forth. So you can infer where it might go if you think about what the function means but just be ready that of course the graphing calculator at this level does certainly not give every part of this function away. Thanks.